Hello, I'm Brian Floyd, co-founder of the Campaign School, and today we're going to bring you a video seminar about political signs. Every candidate I've ever worked for wants campaign signs. You need campaign signs, they're important for name ID. However, not every candidate, not every campaign does signs right. Some do them absolutely horrible, and that's why we're doing this uh, seminar today titled, Do Your Political Campaign Signs Suck? A lot of campaign signs absolutely are horrible. Hopefully yours are not. We're going to look at 32 different signs that we've seen in the last month or so and grade them A through F. So here's the question. Do your political campaign signs suck? All right, now I'm joined by my co-founder of the Campaign School, Paul Arney. How's it going, Paul? Good, Brian. How are you doing today? I'm good. You ready to look at some signs, grade some signs? I sure am. Let's All see right. what you got. All right, well, well first, let's, let's refresh everyone's... Uh, Thing. If you haven't read our book, The Five Secrets of Winning Campaign Signs, go to our website, thecampaignschool.com backslash winning signs. Actually, go to our website, the campaign school backslash signs, and you can get our free ebook there. Uh, to give an A, we're going to grade these A to F just like in school. To get an A, you need 100 points. And 100 points means your name must be big. Your last name on your sign has to be a priority. There can't be a slogan on the sign. There can't be a website on the sign. Uh, don't put a date. Don't put an election year. Don't put an election day. Whatever you do, please do not put a QR code on there because no one knows what they are and no one uses them anyways. Uh, there can't be any clutter on your signs, little slogans or swiggly stuff. Uh, your colors need to stand out and the sign needs to be a good size. It can't be too small. So we will deduct points if your name is small or for a candidate whose last name is not a priority, if they put a slogan, a website, a date, a godforsaken QR code on there, if there's any other clutter, if the colors are just bad, uh, and frankly, if they're too small. If the sign's too small, the sign's useless anyways. So um, let's start with our first sign. Who do we have here? We have Mitchell Englander. For county supervisor. I, I like that sign. It's not a bad sign, but he's got this squiggly thing, a little, uh, I don't know, what is that, a shooting star? It's a shooting star. I don't know what that does. It does nothing. He'd have been better off just saying Englander for county supervisor. That would have been a good sign. I think so, too. I like for supervisor. I like the colors. I think the size is good, but I think, you know, a couple of fixes would be an A sign. I think that's a B sign. Here's another thing I don't like about this sign. Okay. Look at the outline around the letters. It's not necessary. It's not necessary. It takes away. Actually, that font is not good. It's almost like it makes it fill in. Okay. So I, I was going to give this a B. I still think it's a B. Maybe it's a B minus C. I think it's a B minus or a B plus. The sign, it kind of jumps means it's out a B, because though. it's got a loud color. Beyond that, I don't think it's that. I think it's more of a C plus. I okay. give it a C plus. Okay. Uh, next we have Grace Flores Napolitano. Um I don't like this. I don't like it either. The font is horrible. The color's not great, but the color is what the color is. Re-elect. She doesn't need that. The district. No one doesn't knows either. what district yeah. they live in. Why That's do not put that on there. Because they know the district they're running for and they serve. But the, guess what? The average voter does not know and they do not care. But when they get the ballot and they go look, the, they go to vote. There's only one member of Congress. If you have yes. two members of Congress on your ballot, there's a problem with your ballot. Exactly. So, uh, wow. two, yeah. I, I wouldn't say it's a failure. I think her last name comes across, even though the font bothers me. But, I, you know, I, I'd give it a D. I think a, a D is a safe bet. That font is interesting. It's like an old 1970s kind of like a South African font or something. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know what it is. Does she need her name on there, Grace Flores? No, she doesn't. It's too long. In fact, she doesn't need Flores at all. She should just say Grace Napolitano. Well, that's why everyone knows her. Grace Napolitano, that's how yeah, they know her. Yeah. That's how they know her in the district. I, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, I, I think it's a D because I, I, I can read the name. It's clear, but it's 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 easily fixable. That's the worst part. It's easily fixable. It's easily. All she needs is Napolitano for Congress. Yeah. So her opponent did a much better sign, wouldn't you say? I think that that's a really good sign. It is. I... Um, the color's right. It stands out. Hernandez, Congress, what more do I need to know? Now, the problem was all three of those pictures I took at an Arco in San Dimas, California, and they were all on a sign like that. I don't think those are doing anyone any good on that poll. No. I don't think it's helping any of those candidates. And by the way, there was another poll full of signs on the other side of me. So who's the other one on the bottom? That's Mitch. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's, yeah, there's three signs there. It's... Yeah, so I just... Uh, yeah, so but those signs belong in yards. 
Yeah, signs belong in people's yards, in the yards of people that you've identified as being supporters. Absolutely. That's where they belong. So, all right, our next song, whoa, I love this. I think it's a great, great sign. Um, he could have used maybe a little bit better font. He could have, but it's it's really good. It stands everywhere I saw those signs. I, I mean, they, they, they pulled my eyes to them. I can see them from a distance. I can read them from a distance. Yeah. I, I think it's an A sign. That's a, that's a good sign. It could have, like you said, he could have done the font a little better, different, and could have put Senate. But I think with a U.S. Senate race up and a state Senate race up, I yeah. think you know I'm good with that. But that's an A sign right there, all the way. Yeah. Ooh, Jack Orswell uh, going from A to F. I think real quick there. Yeah, I mean he 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 made his first name prominent. His second name you almost don't even see. I mean because you know we don't know anyone by the name of Jack in the world ever. No, he's exactly. Got, he's got the QR code. Uh, I, 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 you know what's funny is I wouldn't vote for him purely for the QR code, but the stars. Is there? There's no website, but there's a leadership well, not politics. Oh wait, oh, no, there is a website. website. Yeah, yeah, I, I can mean, see it first. Oh yeah, my god! But that, that tells you how bad this sign is. You can't see what's written on it in the small print. And guess what? When you're walking by or driving by, most people driving by are not going to read that sign or see that sign. And you know where the sign was? No, it looks like it's in a yard. It was on a fence between two buildings. Back from the street. Yeah. And, and to let you know, Paul and I drove and walked around four different counties that were in Los Angeles County, Orange County, Riverside, and San Bernardino County in Southern California. And so these signs came from all over the place. So, um, you know, some for people that in areas that we actually could vote for, this is actually in the congressional district where I, I live. Yeah. yeah and I yeah. And um, uh, it just doesn't, doesn't work for me. But here's the thing. So going back to sign placement. Here's a couple signs. I, I can. I think the picture's blurry, but I, I don't think that means the signs are bad. I because you can still see Portatino. I didn't focus it very well when I took it with my iPhone. I kind of messed up, but you can still see. Yeah, you're right. You can still see Portatino. Um, the other sign, Nazarian. You can't really read it. And, and we don't have any uh, close-ups of the Nazarian sign, but that, as you can tell, that looks more like you know a, a blanket being put on something rather than a sign running for something simple it's like a blanket's being i'm putting you to bed there's a blanket falling on top there's of a it. huge swish yeah it, it absolutely is useless um sign placement i that's what i would you know what you know what i, I think those would say that you can only water once a week i would think that they're water wise signs i wouldn't think those I, I would walk past them not even thinking that they're for election well this 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 is behind a row of trees behind a sidewalk Behind, uh, back in the bushes, I've driven by this place. Uh, you know, I drive by this on down this road every day. I never spotted those signs until I was taking a walk. Yeah. And and you know, this this goes to show that signs belong in yards, not out there in the middle of nowhere, and not on fences. They, Absolutely, because they're not doing anyone any good there. So this one I did find on a street pole in Orange County in Anaheim, Tom Daly State Assembly, and I really like that sign. I, I. I think if that sign was in a yard, it gets my attention. I mean, I can't take my eyes off the daily. Yeah, it's a good sign. I actually like it. Now, that is an A. You want, you want to see how to do an A sign? That's that, that sign right there. Uh, whoa, hey. Uh, yeah, this you, want to see, you want to see how to do an F? Uh, Kaiser Ahmed, he, uh, he did it. He put his picture on there, which is an absolute no-no in politics. They don't vote by picture. They vote by your last name. And of which, Kaiser is bigger than Ahmed. The colors are bad. The colors are horrible. The font is bad. Yeah. It's a terrible sign. It, it's, it's really funny. It, it looks like, take my class, I'm teaching on Congress. It, he looks more like a professor than a congressman, too. It, I think it's a bad picture. And the other thing is, why would you put a black and white picture on something in a fully technicolor world? Yeah. But right. you don't put your picture on anything. I mean, the, the, I, there is nothing that says... Oh, hey, Ahmed, that's the guy I'm voting for. That sign does absolutely nothing. That Paul, if that's not an F sign, I don't know what is. Your ballot does not have a picture of the candidate. No, it does not. So that's an F. Oh, another F, and i got to give full disclosure. I worked a campaign against Sohelia Azizi. Uh, my candidate was Denise Traeger Dvorak, running for judge in San Bernardino County. I do not have a picture of Denise's sign in here. Um, and frankly, I would not give it an A. I think we wound up at a B minus, maybe a C. So I'm going to be very honest. But Sohelia's sign, without a doubt, to me is an F. But because I worked against her, I think you need to take the lead on tearing this the sign. This is an absolutely terrible sign. It's one of the worst I've seen. Now, starting from the top, she has her website. Absolute no-no. Okay. It, it is, the whole sign is very busy. She has Aziza for Superior Azizi. Court Judge. Azizi. Azizi? Azizi. Azizi. For Superior Court Judge, they stand for justice. She no, has, no logo. Uh, it, but it blends into her name. Her it, name well, blends yeah. into the slogan. So it just looks like a bunch of words. She should just have her name for, 
for judge. And picture? Yeah, no picture. She nope. should have her photo on it. This is, you know, you know, what this sign reminds me of it. Reminds me of like a sign for like a, a medical clinic or something. I don't know why. That's what I think of. What really? I think. And vote June seventh. Why would you put the date on there? Yeah, you don't. But you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of a real estate real estate sign. I think that looks like a realtor sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so on that note, um, there was a realtor out in Rancho Cucamonga who put this sign up. Amongst all the other political signs, and I this thought it was ridiculous. It's, it's, I think he was making fun of their signs. Is that what he's doing? He was actually on the ballot, right? No, he's not on the ballot. Oh, he's not on the he's ballot. He's not on the ballot. He's oh, a real estate agent so who man, put his sign up oh, with theirs. That's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> it is. And, and the only thing that's funny is he didn't put his picture. I think he he looked and he goes, hey, all these corner lots where my signs usually go, all these politicians are going to be here, so I'm going to put that there. <laughs> I, I actually like it. I'm thinking about. I'm gonna call the guy and find out why he did that. I think that's funny. Yeah, that is actually funny. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Full disclosure. I know Rusty Bailey. I am good friends with Rusty's chief of staff in the city of Riverside. He is uh, finishing up his first term as mayor. Uh, I have worked against Rusty in the past. I almost worked for Rusty this time. The deal didn't come through. I do consider Rusty a friend. Uh, and uh, frankly, friends don't let friends buy bad signs. And so I was not consulted on this sign because this is an f Paul. This sign is absolutely a waste of time. It's atrocious. It, it, yeah, I mean, Bailey for mayor. All he needed to say, Rusty for Riverside, I'm for Rusty. I, that, you know what it looks like at, from this angle? It looks like the top of a pizza box. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah, it uh, doesn't look... It looks like a Domino's box with different colors. You would even you would never know. You're driving along, you see this. You would never even know what it's about. You yeah. just think, okay, whatever. So, and the other, the other issue I have, notice that... They got really artsy fartsy with it, and so there's these flecks of white in there, and then the edges are kind of rough, like it was painted on. Mm-hmm. I mean, they spend a lot of time on this design. I mean, this is fine for a, something like this would be fine for a male piece or something, but that sign is not a male piece. Actually, but if it was a male piece, I would, I would, I think that's a good front of a male piece, and I put Rusty there with a, instead of Rusty for mayor, I put Rusty there with some constituents talking to him, looking happy, and the future's bright for us. Yeah, I think that is a, but. Um, a lot of the people that had to hand out these signs were like, I can't believe these are signs. And so to Rusty's credit, he did order a second batch of signs that looked better. They were not A signs. I wish I had gotten a picture of them. They are probably a B sign. But going from an F to a B, I think, was important. So even their campaign realized that as cute as this was, it was a mistake because this is an F. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely creative. It's definitely cute. It's, you know, I, I, kudos to the artist. But it's... It just doesn't work. For how how much name ID does that give Rusty Bailey? Absolutely not. You know, if you were doing a, this is the sort of thing, if you were doing a fundraiser and you wanted this in the background or something, that was, that's absolutely. where you would use something like yeah. this. Not, I, I, I absolutely, you know. I, 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 first I cringed and then I laughed when I saw this sign and I, I, I just don't like this sign. Absolute F. We'll go from F to an A though. I think that's an A sign. Yeah. Um, here's a problem with this sign. There's a problem with I think this is good colors, and I think his name stands out. I know, but he needed to have a longer sign, a wider sign. His name is long. Yes. And it looks, it's almost kind of like I look, you know, the sign works, actually, so I, I don't want to be too negative. It's an, it's an A sign. It may be an A minus sign. about it that's, like, jammed in. It does. Something. But you know what's funny, though, is you're saying, because of the size of his name, he was smart because he still put the emphasis on the last name and not the mic. Absolutely, Mike. and he didn't put a bunch of garbage on the sign. Let me ask you this. If it said Mike Morrell... The line Senate, no state Senate. Do you think that would have worked? Because then the Senate would have been smaller and more spread out, and the name would have worked. Maybe. I, I mean, you know, the thing you mentioned earlier, Brad, there, there is a U.S. Senate race going on. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you kind of wonder if they're concerned about people getting confused about, you know, oh, this person was running for states, this person was running for Senate, but I don't see them. I only see there were 35 about. names on the U.S. Senate ballot for California in the primary. Yeah, so maybe state Senate is not, even though I. Don't think it's really necessary. Maybe it's a maybe it is a good place. So I, I'm going to say give him an A. What do you say? Mm, I would probably say an A minus. All right, I'll go A minus. I'll go A minus. Working Joe Baca. Joe was a con- uh, was an assemblyman, a con- uh, a state senator, and a congressman. He lost a tough election a few years ago. He's been trying to go back. He has been using the same sign uh, since the '90s, as far as I know. You know, this is sign is. You know, it's kind of cool looking, right? It's it's uh, you know, it's 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 a cool looking image and name and everything. But that being said, it's is a it, horrible yard sign. Is it a good logo for a mailer? Maybe it's a good logo for a mailer. It's a good banner that you might want to yeah. have at a fundraiser. Maybe if you 
I, you know, I'm pretty much, I generally oppose to using, um, uh, uh, you know, billboards, but that would be a billboard. But it's not a yard sign. It's, first of all, his name's down there at the bottom, Working Joe Baca. Baca, the Baca, the C looks weird to me. It looks more like a horseshoe than a C. Yeah, and I, I wonder if you didn't know. We, all, we know who he is. I mean, we've known him for years, yeah. right? So I'm wondering, though, if you've never heard of him before and you saw this, would you, you know, if you only have a moment to see the sign, would you, could you pick up what that says, Baca? I don't think so. I think Baca, Congress, simple. Yeah. So I, yeah, I think, you know, I can kind of read it. It's kind of, I don't know. I don't know if it's an F, but it's a low C. Yeah, I'd, I'd see range. Yeah. yeah, it's just it, it's great artwork. It's cute. Blah blah blah. It doesn't work for yard sign. Okay, and now ooh, Pete Aguilar. He is an incumbent member of Congress running for re-election, and I do not like his sign, Paul. I don't like it either. I don't like this the ribbon, whatever it is. Yeah. Um. And the the there's something wrong with the fonts. It's all jammed in. It's I think if um, they had used the yellow on the name and the Congress in white. And just said Aguilar Congress or Aguilar U.S. Congress, I think it works. You know what I would have done with him? Because he has a long name. I would have done a horizontal sign. So Aguilar for Congress. Yeah. So I, I think it's a C minus. Yeah. I think it's a C minus easily. Oh, 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 oh. I don't. I, I, uh. This looks like. Um, this sign's a mess. Well, yeah, it looks like a uh, emblem for a baseball team or it looks like something at all. It does. It looks like a minor league baseball team. Yeah, right? Minor so, league. Yeah. Now, here's the funny thing. Is, is so, you see the A there? It looks like jeans with a check mark on them or whatever. Yeah, what is I, that? That is the first letter of the name and I didn't realize this till looking at the pictures again. I thought at first glance that it was Big Al Medina. That's what I thought. It's and Abigail. It, oh, it's, Ab- uh, it's Abigail Medina. Uh, so, failure. Complete failure. failure. So, so I'm looking for Big Al because my mind, you know, processed it quickly. The slogan, real progress for our neighborhoods, doesn't matter. 40th, no one knows what districts are in. Medina, eh. I, I got nothing good to say about that sign. No, that's a bad sign. I mean, it's, it, it's Big Al Medina. It's, it's not Abigail. No, it, it's just... <sighs> yeah. And it's a street sign, so the size is a little bigger. I mean, it's, it's four by four, but... I, I, it's, I, it's very unreadable. It's, it's an F. It is yeah, absolutely it enough. Have. Paul Chabot. This could be a good sign if they got rid of counterterrorism, if they got rid of military vet, just said Chabot for Congress. I don't like the dying. Okay, but all right, on the, on the counterterrorism, his district covers San Bernardino, which mm-hmm. is a site of an ISIS-inspired attack. So there might be something to that. But is this the right place for it? I don't think so because I, it, it's just, again, you know, the sign is it's about... N- the name, right? Yeah. And I, I don't. You, it's very hard to put a bunch of other. Med- the reason why we say don't put all this other stuff on there is be, not that some of the stuff might be important stuff to communicate to the voters. It's just that it takes up too much room. It clutters everything up. You can't read the name. You can't. You can't. I think Chabot for Congress and get rid of the stupid anchor. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. That's that's a C. It, you know, it's a C because it's so easily an A. Yeah. Next, Sean Flynn for U.S. Congress. You know, Flynn. Flynn just, one, he's got a website. Don't need that on there. People driving by are not uh-huh. Googling you. He needs to drop the website. Drop sure. the website. Flynn for Congress. Um, maybe make the sign a little bit longer. Make it longer. Um, it really ought to just be Flynn for Congress. Yeah, it's close. Uh, B minus. B minus, yeah. B minus. Mark Stein North running for re-election for the California Assembly. This sign's a loser. You think so? I mean, his last name stands out, or no, his last name is big, but it doesn't stand out. No, I mean, what is he? He's got this check mark on the M, mark. People I, don't check their ballots. They mark their ballots. Checks are gone for years. Yeah, the color choice is bad. The font is bad. And it really, again, he needs to focus on his last name. Um, you know, Grant, look, I, you know, he didn't put a bunch of other junk on there, that's for sure. Yeah. And a website, no QR codes, but... Yeah, no election date. So it, it's not a failure. It's just, it's it's a C minus, D plus. He ruined the sign with what he did with his name, first name. So it's a D. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Doug Shepard for Congress. I think I think Doug started off with good intentions and goes, oh, you know what? I have too much white space next to my first name and put the stars and stripes in there. And 
took what was probably an A sign and made it um, a B minus. Yeah, you know, see, this is what he could have done here. First of all, he could have had a background color. He could have gone two colors. Well, he did two colors. He did blue and red. So he could have a background. He could have just had Shepherd for Congress. Got rid of the Doug. He would have had more room for his last name. Uh, full disclosure, Burke Strensky is the candidate I worked for in that judicial race, and he did win. So uh, I'm happy about that. But um, I uh, am going to distance myself from the signs. I was not involved in the design of these. Uh, I don't think I would have gotten my way anyways because we bought some other signs, and the only thing I got rid of was the white space at the bottom and the top. But uh, being that Burke is a client and a friend, I'm not going to say much more. What do you have to say about these signs? I think it's an ineffective sign. It's too busy. There's just too much going on. Homicide prosecutor, I, you know, that's, that's fine. I, it just, again, it takes away. You, it's, signs are about the name ID. It, it should say Strunsky for Superior Court Judge. Get rid of the hammer, the, the gavel, whatever it is. Yeah. But the, so the homicide prosecutor, that, that's the ballot title, and it goes on on the mail. I mean, but, you know, it doesn't need to be on the signs. It's I, just how much room do you have on the sign, yeah. to, you know? And Strunsky for Judge. I think it's yeah. that simple. I, I, yeah. So moving along. Oh, Randy Fox for U.S. Congress. This is one that, like, easily could have been a good sign. I mean, he took a small last name and made it as big as possible. Mm -hmm. But he added a website, which absolutely is unnecessary. And he's got the Congress in the wrong place. Yeah, I would have got rid of the website, bumped, bumped U.S. Congress down to the bottom, and put Fox up a little higher, and made even Fox maybe a little bigger, and it would have been perfect. I'll give this a C plus. Yeah. Could have been, it could have been an A. Yeah. This oh, is terrible. this sign's terrible. Well, it, you know, the other thing is, okay, so notice the M and the O are cut off. Yeah. And so when I saw that sign, I go, oh, this must be like uh, a misprint. And so I went and found another sign, and it was the same way. Did they do that on purpose? It appears so. Why would they do that? I don't know. Maybe they couldn't afford the ends. I don't know. Is it a way to attract attention? I, I, if it did, it, it attracted the wrong attention from me. And what's going on in the back? Is that like a hologram or something? It, like it, I look closely at it. It is ghosted over a uh, cursive written integrity. Huh. Okay. And it's got the French flag behind her, it looks like. Oh, is that the French flag? I don't know. Is it French? No, the French is uh, has green in it, right? No, no. No. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it is a French so flag. So maybe it is an American flag, but maybe it's a French flag. That's I don't know what it is. But it, it, so, yeah, this is a bad sign. You can't really read her name because she cut half of it off. Well, they should put it below, but you're not looking there. Yeah. So, Marino for mayor, real simple. Yeah, but the color, the colors are horrible, too, though. The colors are horrible. Well, the, this, this, this ghost over thing, yeah, that's, that's terrible. That is that? way too busy of a sign. Yeah. It's too busy. That's an absolute F. Yeah. James Ramos, re-election for county supervisor. The website's there. You know, got to knock off points there. Now, you said something earlier about the, the, the outline of the name. Yeah, the font. You see, I don't know why these guys do this. It, it, this is the sign is about ease of ease of visibility, and you know that it's just communicating that last name. And so these guys have put on, they've put this outline around the font, and it just kind of makes it look kind of cluttery or something. So Ramos County Supervisor or Ramos Supervisor probably pulls it off. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's all I, you need to do. Um, yeah, I think that's a, that's a that's a C minus for me. Um, what about you? C minus. At best. Okay. Yeah, C minus. All right. I love this sign. It's and a good sign. Now, the funny thing is, I, I spent most of my adult life looking at the sign because Ken Calvert is the congressman for the community where I grew up. I've uh, worked for Ken on an election or two, and he has always used those signs, and he's been in office since 1992. Well, you know, I mean, he obviously knows what he's doing because that's a perfect sign. That is perfect. And yeah. the reversal of the colors is brilliant. A lot of people would put a blue background with the uh, orange letters. Yeah. I mean, how well, like, so you go back, like, oh, I don't want to go back to it, but that Porrentino sign is almost the opposite. That, I, a Porrentino sign is close to his, though. Yeah. I, I, but I, I, so that's, that's an A sign, if not an A plus sign. There is, there's nothing superfluous about that sign. No. Even the disclaimer is moved over so it doesn't pull your attention to it. It's the last thing you're going to look at, and guess what? When you're driving by, you're never going to look at it. It's very clean, very... Yeah. I'm assuming you can see it from a distance, right? Oh, yeah. I have a picture I, I took of a bunch of signs on the fence, including... Okay. I think it's on this fence. So next coming up... Oh, I mean, going from one great sign for someone running for Congress to one that is uh, absolutely uh, abysmal. This is a bad sign. He... Independent, we the people. You don't need any of that. You don't and by the way, why would you put independent anyways in a primary? Even though I know it's an open primary in California, it's partisan voters who come out. 
Yeah. It's 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 foolish. And we the people, whatever, the district, who cares? No one knows where they live. They just go up to vote. Yeah, there's another thing going on here, hip too. So his last name is Conley. Yeah. Conley Congress. The f- because of the font and because of the way he laid it out, it's almost you got to search to find his name. It's just too something. It's too busy and it's laid out weird. Your yeah. eyes are not... Your eyes are actually drawn to Congress more than the name. Yeah, they are. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's, that's a bad sign. That is an F. Um, this sign looks good, but I'm going to tell you right now, I took that close up. That sign is smaller than most yard signs. And it would actually, it's just too small. I, I took the close-up because I wanted to get the design. So the colors are pretty good, uh, but it's it's a small sign. Yeah, I, and I would I would drop elect. It'd just be Ken Park for State Assembly. Yeah. But but what I, what I like, though, is the Ken Park same size because the last name's small and the first name's small. I think it works. Yeah, and the use of the of colors is good. I mean, it's not a bad sign. It's not, but it's a, it's a C at the best. Because of the size? Uh, actually, because of the size, I'd give it a D. Okay. If the sign's not big enough to read when you're driving by, what yeah. good is it? Yeah. So, Linder, State Assemblyman. This is really good, but could have been a little bit better. The colors absolutely stand out. Yeah, the colors stand out. Um, it's, this, isn't, this isn't bad. But if it said Linder Assembly, I think it works better. Yeah, I would not put state assembly man. I would put for assembly. It almost feels like he wanted to say re-elect without saying re-elect. So he's reminding people he's an incumbent without using the words that are used by incumbents. Yeah. Well, and is he a Republican? Yes. You know, even uh, even among Republicans, you have a lot of feminists nowadays. Yeah. And, and assembly man says a lot of people... Assembly really, member is the common term now. Yes. It's, you know, gender neutral. Yeah. And you gotta think you got to think of those things. So Linder assembly, yeah. I think. It's a B, though, because the colors are good and it's a good size. Yeah, it's not, it's not bad. I yeah. mean, it does it, it does the job. It just could have done the job a little bit better. Yeah. So you're saying a B on this? Yeah, I, I give that a B. Okay, I'll go with that. And then, oh, Tim Sheridan for Congress on the same fence with all those other signs. And uh, the font's bad. The I mean, it's almost good, but then it just got so many other problems, like the flag over there, the yeah, stars and stripes. That's a big mistake. It, it pulls away from the name. Yeah, and the font's bad. Yeah, but it, but the name's big. The last name is big, as we say. There's no website. There's no dates. There's no QR codes. I mean, so they were heading in the right direction when they designed the sign. And then they got creative and killed themselves. Yeah. So, but I, I, think, I think it's probably a C- minus because it's easily fixed to an A with sort of the right input. Yeah, I, I agree. Okay. Now, that's the fence that I took a picture of all those signs. And if you notice, Linder and Calvert jump off the fence. Look how small Ken Parks is. You can hardly read his name. And get, and I'm standing there. Yeah, Ken, Ken Parks was larger. You'd be able to read it better. Yeah, Conley, Conley, you can't read. Calvert, Linder, you can read. But Sheridan, Sheridan, this is where the Stars and Stripes really messes up. You can't read the rest of the name. It's Sherida. No, I, I can't. I can't even see it. You see, Ken, Ken Park, would, he would have been better off the sign the size of lenders or calverts absolutely it would have looked really good actually absolutely and so but this sign also shows you how important the name is because at a certain distance that office isn't readable calvert is the only one you can tell what august office is running for maybe sheridan but lender you can't tell conley congress you can but it it looks more like an advertisement than a political sign and yeah. so it's just, but these signs belong in yards, not on streets. Not on streets. Not on streets. This one I found on the street. I was taking a walk here around my hometown of Pasadena, our hometown of Pasadena. Uh, Paul is on the other side of town. And I saw this and I said, I have to get a picture because this is a bad sign. Yeah, this sign is bad on a lot of levels. It's, first of all, it emphasizes their first name. Yes. Okay. Second of all, What's that star? Then she has the date there. Yeah, the date doesn't need it. The star's not here. But here's the other thing. That line with the assembly star 2016, it is breaking up her name. Mm -hmm. And so it's not helping her at all. And the color's bad. Colors are horrible. The font's bad. She would have really benefited because she has a long name. It would have been great for the way to to use a sign like Calvert used. Yeah. Friedman? Assembly? assembly, yeah, I think so. It that's that sign for me, absolute F. Yes. Oh, oh, oh! You and I have both ran across this sign, and both of us have taken pictures of it. You took this picture, I believe. 
Yeah, so this this sign was back in the bushes. So very bad placement. There's a branch in front of it. and Yeah, you, you don't even see the name of the last name. Yeah, it takes a while to figure out what's going on here, you know? So I got Fluente Riddle. I can't see Riddle. Um, the state of California uh, outline behind it is bigger than the name. I've got the date. I've got some weird logo on the left. I got states in it. I've got the district. I mean, you What's know. What's that blue thing down the bottom? I have no idea. It's like the it's like the crusty brand seal of approval or something. I don't know, and it's just weird. It's absolutely weird. I mean, you know, you know I'm surprised there's not a website on this one. This one is so busy and so bad. I'm surprised it's not worse. Yeah, this sign. It not only is a sign bad that they but they put it in a bad place. Yeah. So F. 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 So. The sign that I saw, Friedman and Riddle, that's how I saw them when I was walking past them. So if you're driving past them, the placement's bad. Because instead of putting it so that cars coming both ways would see it, they put it up there so that the person who put them out could see them from their house and the neighbor could. But it is not helping with any name ID whatsoever, as you can see. Yeah. And from the street, that's how it looks. And guess what? That is doing nothing for anyone because whoever put them up is already voting for them. Yeah, you know, the thing, the thing about this... Those signs cost, what do they cost per piece? $3, 5 3 to 5 depending on who you're buying them from. So that's, you just threw away, some, you know, just threw away maybe $10. Right and they're bad. And as you can tell, you cannot read the riddle sign. And I'm not that, I'm in the middle of the street. I'm not across the street. Laura stands out. Friedman does not. Riddle does not stand out at all. Is I mean, that a house or is it like just a it's office? A, it's a house, I believe. It's a house? I think so. I mean, some, well, some of the houses have been converted into office buildings over here, so I don't know. But still, it's a heavily trafficked street. It's only a block away from the Pasadena Playhouse. Yeah, that's that's not... It's probably not a good place to put a sign, period. But if you're going to put it there, you need it to be facing traffic. Schaefer Cormel. Schaefer Cormel uh, ran against uh, Burke Strensky. And um, I, I don't know if I hate to say this. I actually like Schaefer's sign pretty much. I think he could do a little bit better. But I think it's not a horrible sign. It's not bad. He, he could have... I, he might have been better off not having his first name on it. I think Carmel for judge, kill the gavel, knock that off. Yeah. And that's a new sign. Right now, I think it's a, a, you know, what do you think? Maybe, you know. B minus? Yeah, I think it's a B minus. Yeah. Jose Medina for state assembly. This sign, for some reason, bothers me, but it's not a bad sign. Yeah, I don't like this sign. But it, he did follow the basic rules. I think it's the font is annoying. Yeah. There's something about it that's not real. It's it's not a real readable sign. I don't know why. Yeah. Well, the, and the the bottom for the four state assembly, it's almost too light. And so if it had just said assembly, and I know I'm big on that last name and what you're running for, and but it works. I think that stands out. So Medina assembly. I think you could even keep the Jose, but the font on the Jose, it seems really soft. You know, the last name seems bold. Everything else seems soft. Yeah, it's uh, and it's and the name is too bold. It's it, it's it's block it's it's I don't know. Yeah, so I I, I don't know. I think it's a B minus because he followed the rules, but it's easily fixable. I mean, it's not on the way to F at all. It's easily fixable, but I think it's a B minus because it's a little bit better than average. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's better than average. I guess a little bit. So, this sign uh, also like the Ken Park sign is a lot smaller. It's not much bigger than. You know, an oversized piece of notebook paper, to be honest. Really? But it violates every, almost every rule. I mean, there's no date on it or QR code, but vote doesn't need to be there. The four Congress with those stars, the the uh, the website, it's just, it's an atrocious sign. Yeah, and he has a very, you know, yeah, I, he he could have made his name so much larger without putting that stuff on there. Yeah. It, it, he it, just, he wasted a bunch of space or information that people don't need. And the thing is, you know, to give get a good size sign compared to buying a small bad size sign, it's not a big difference because of the quantities you're buying. I yeah. mean, I mean, if you're buying less than 500 signs, you you probably, I don't know. I think 500 signs is the minimum buy I would do. Maybe 250 in a very small district. Yeah, I mean, mine are usually 500. Yeah, but 500. I mean, it's you know you can afford it because of the quantity you buy. But that's sure. just that's just an F sign. Uh, D.W. Duke also ran in the race uh, that Mr. Strensky won and Schaefer Cormier was in the race. And I saw this sign and I just, I didn't like it because I, I knew that the Jefferson Memorial on there had nothing to do with uh, justice. Maybe it's a rocket ship. I don't know. But you had some interesting observations about the sign that I didn't catch. But as soon as you said it, I go, aha. Well, it looks to me, it, well, if I saw this sign and just looking at it, it looks to me like 
It's a construction company or a development company. Yeah, it's D.W. Really? Duke Construction. I, 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 you know what? If, yeah, if you right. took off Superior yeah. Court Judge and that was up on in front of a project that was being built, you go, oh, this must be a D.W. Duke project. And is that the Supreme Court? Uh, no, because I don't think the Supreme Court has a uh, rounded top, no, does no, it? No, no, But no, that doesn't belong on there. And really, he ought to just say Duke for Superior Court Judge. Yeah. Now, to his credit, his name is David Duke, and so he went by D.W. Duke. But I think he could have said just Duke. You yeah, know, just Duke. You know, older folks would think of, uh, you know, the Duke, you know, John Wayne, you know. But I, I think Duke, Judge, boo, simple. But this is absolutely an F sign. No, this isn't a good sign. Mark Ticano for Congress, teacher for Congress. This is the sign. Um, Mark's been using these signs for the last four years. Uh, he won in 2012, and he's up for re-election again now. And... Um, he's a congressman who used to teach is in Congress, so it's not 100% accurate, but I guess once you're a teacher, you're always a teacher. Well, so he's, he's using the signs over and over again. Yeah. He's, he's, you know, recycling them. I think the apple is stupid. Yeah, it is actually is readable, but the apple just, it, it's kind of awkward. Yeah. And the font, I think, I think Takano Congress works a lot better. Um, I think so too. I I think it would work. Well. I, th- I think it's a C because it's easily fixable. It's not horrible. I mean, there's no website, there's no QR code, there's no dates, uh, but it's trying to give a message where one it's it's not a messaging tool. It's not mail. It's not TV. It's not radio. It's not phone calls. It's not an email. It's not a website. It's a sign. Yeah. And signs have one purpose, and that's name ID. And actually, we're at the end of uh, the signs here. So we saw some good signs. We saw some bad signs. Hopefully, your signs look more like the good signs and the bad signs. If uh, they are veering towards the ones that we gave average grades or low grades to, pick up a uh, copy of our free ebook, the Secrets, The Five Secrets of Winning Campaign Signs, and you can get it at our website, thecampaignschool.com backslash signs. It is a free copy. All you have to do is go on there, order your free copy. Um, but we see so many signs in our professional career that are bad. Uh, this is one thing that we want every candidate to have because there is no excuse for bad signs. Now, signs are about name ID and name ID only. I say all the time that signs don't vote. People get always concerned about signs. And signs are about planting name ID in the minds of the voters. And you don't need to put an election date up because guess what? When people are driving home from work or they're driving to church, they're driving to school or they're going to the movies and they see a bunch of political signs in their neighborhood, they have a pretty good hunch the election is coming up. So, uh, you know, Paul, do you have any any thoughts on this? Those are my thoughts. You know, signs belong in yards because basically what it comes down to is people see who their neighbors are voting for. You know, most, most, even here in California, most people kind of know their neighbors. And it, it's, it's just a, a social influence of signs. And also when you're walking precincts, somebody says, yes, I'll vote for you. They, if they take a sign, the chances are they aren't lying. They're not just saying, yes, I'll vote for you to get rid of you. They actually are going to vote for you. And so it, it's a good way to secure that vote. Once somebody makes a commitment to, to take a sign, unless you do something really weird in your, in your campaign, they're probably going to stay with you. Their neighbors are going to see that they support you. And people, people that don't make their decisions on voting till the end, they usually make it based on what people they know are doing. So um, that's, that's how, how I feel about signs. And, and, and just the most important thing is keep it simple. Keep it really simple. Yeah, absolutely. Well, hey, thank you for joining us for uh, this video of um, Do Your Signs Suck? offered by the Campaign School. (laughs) It is kind of a funny name, but the question is, do your signs suck? Because no candidate should have sucky signs. And uh, like I said, read our free ebook, The Five Secrets of Winning Campaign Signs, and you can get it at thecampaignschool.com backslash signs. And thank you for your time today.